Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today I am going to go over everything about my LASIK procedure, which I had done, uh, oh like, it's going to be two months in about a week, I think. I got it done April 14th, 2016, and it was the best decision I've ever made in my life. So, I've gotten a lot of questions from family and friends about the procedure since I'm the first person in my family to actually have the procedure done. And on top of that, I was actually one of the first people to actually get the new procedure, which I will talk about. Um, it's just using a new wavelength laser. Contoura Vision Topographic Laser. And I got it done at the Cleveland Clinic. First and foremost, I just wanted to say that I did have a new procedure done. It was still being under the royalty fees and everything like that. The laser was new, it just came out a few months beforehand. And I'm not being paid, I'm not being glorified in any way by any doctor at all for giving this a review, um, positive or negative. So this is all honest opinions, this is my experience, no one's like influencing me to say anything new about this new procedure. The first thing I want to go over is when you decide to get LASIK or you're going to be reviewing you know all the possible chances that you have and if you are a candidate for LASIK you have to first choose the doctor you want to go to. I think I spent about two months researching online and that wasn't the best choice in the world. Um, never read online negative comments or negative reviews. Of course, everyone that will have a bad experience made poor choices, made a poor doctor choice, um, didn't, it wasn't even a candidate, are going to post online about negative reviews. Now, I've seen some crazy reviews saying that, for example, my son committed suicide because his eyes were so dry after LASIK. Okay, of course that's going to freak everybody out, but yeah, I read all those and I still did it anyway, and I'm alive today. No problems. First and foremost, you're going to go in for a free consultation. No payment is due that day, it's totally free, they're going to do a lot of testing on your eyes. Um, I had about uh, three or four testing visits before the actual procedure, so it is a long, hard process. Um, especially driving because I live an hour and a half away from the hospital so it was a lot harder for me. Picking your doctor is the most important thing ever. The lasers they use for the actual procedure is going to make a difference. There was two options actually for me. The fourth testing was, hey your left eye has a red flag, we don't know if we can do the LASIK procedure on it, um, next visit you come in we're going to try to test you for you know, da 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 da. So the other opportunity you have is to get PRK. That is where they don't make the incision in your eye and open up the flap. PRK is actually rubbing the top layer off your eye with alcohol and then going in with the laser and correcting the cornea and the retina or whatever. If you have a job, if you have mega priorities, um, do not get it. Um, if you're a candidate for LASIK, go for LASIK. Uh, PRK takes about a full month of recovery. Vision does not improve uh, for at least two weeks, so I really didn't want that. It's painful, especially the third day. 99.9% .9 of PRK patients will tell you that the third day is the most painful and they will be spent in bed shutting their eyes. Um, I've heard a lot of that, so I didn't want that. Testing, like I said, I had four visits. They did a lot of mapping. You look into a, a laser and they map the back of your eye, the front of your eye, the width of your eye, everything you can think about. They want to get it precise. And um, if you're not a candidate, you're not a candidate. Don't do it. It might mess up your eyes. LASIK day, this is where a lot of the questions came in. And the most important question was probably, did it hurt? Did LASIK hurt? Did cutting your eyeball open with a laser hurt? For me, no. But to be honest, you can feel stuff going on. Yes. A lot of the reviews online will tell you, no, it doesn't hurt at all, you can't feel a thing, you're just staring up at the laser and you're fine. Half yes, 
half no for me. Um, because I had a new laser technique done called Contoura Vision. Look it up. And I know that not many doctors use this because it's still kind of being tested. Um, when I had the procedure done, three doctors came in the room and examined my eyes and they told me, they asked me a lot of questions and they said, do you feel that this procedure is better wearing your glasses or can you see better than wearing glasses? And I said, absolutely. I can see better. When I came in for my one week follow up, I was seeing 2015, which is beyond 2020 perfect vision. Side effects for Contour LASIK. After LASIK, they're going to give you this pack, which was full of goodies. They had all these drops. You have to take them for a week, four times a day, and that's what gave me problems. That's the only thing that gave me problems with doing these drops four times a day dried my eyes out. I don't even think it was the procedure itself, it was the eye drops. And they said about LASIK, you're going to experience severe dry eye, you can't see at night, you're going to see halos and starbursts. 50-50 for me. Dry eyes actually did be a little bit of a problem for about the first two weeks of the procedure. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Um, I was waking up in the morning, I could not open my eyes. It was so painful to open up my eyes that I had to like, squeeze, like, the little drop into my eye to be able to go, oh my gosh, thank god. That was kind of bad. It would only last for about a week and a half. Another side effect was in my left eye, which is the eye that was on the borderline for the procedure. For the first three weeks, two and a half weeks, I had a feeling in my eye that there was an eyelash in my eye, there was a hair in my eye, that there was something in my eye, and you cannot touch your eyes cannot touch your eyes at all. You can't even go like this, you can't rub them. All I can do is like this. And I still do that because I feel like, you know, I don't want to touch my eyes still. I don't even wear a lot of makeup. That feeling was looked at, everything was healed perfectly, so I was kind of like iffy about it. And then everyone told me, you know, sometimes the body heals differently, just let it go. And I did, and it fixed itself, and it's perfectly fine. Another question I received was, how much was this procedure? Even though it's a little personal information, cosmetic procedures, especially eye correction procedures, can range up to $2,000 to $5,000. My procedure, I paid a little bit more because I got the new procedure. Contour LASIK decreases the side effects um, that LASIK, the original wavelength laser, creates. So, because I chose the new laser, Dry eye was decreased, correct, and night vision was decreased. Yes, I do agree that. Um, it's about a month and a half. I can see pretty darn well in the dark. I have no dry eyes. I've first started out with using about three vials of eye drops a day. They were like this big. And I'm down to using none at all. I don't need eye drops anymore and it's only been a month, which is pretty incredible results. For me, my procedure cost five grand, but I'd pay any money in the world to have the vision that I do today, so, ah, uh, yay. It's not about the money, it's about being comfortable with the world you live in, what you're seeing around you, and it's changed my life. I don't feel as groggy anymore, I don't feel sluggish, I don't feel lazy, I actually want to go outside now, and I think my favorite thing to do is just be outside and look at all the details of everything. <laughs> Actual procedure day, LASIK day. Yes, I was very, 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 very nervous, and they're going to give you a Valium before you go. The Valium takes about 30 minutes, and I felt like I wasn't working on me until probably 35 minutes. I felt like, come on, let's go, let's get this over with. The Valium for me kind of shut off my mind. I walked in that room and I was like, yeah, let's do it, come on. And I can't believe I was actually like that. It was pretty scary because I still in my mind, in the back of my mind, I was nervous to get this done. But overall, I thought it was a really neat procedure. And I got really into it too. Like looking at everything, um, I think the scariest part for me was cutting the eye. All I remember is they're holding my eye with this like 
It looks like those, like, things you put in your ear, people sometimes call them gauges or whatever. They put that in your eye and then you look up and you feel like this suction on your eye and then yes, you can definitely feel pressure when the laser cuts your eye. I did feel that, but it didn't hurt. It just felt like someone going like this on your skin. That's about it. So these are just some miscellaneous questions that I've gotten over the past month about it. Um, one was, do you have to get LASIK again? I don't know. Um, for right now, it's been stable. Um, it takes about six months for your eyes to go completely back to normal. They say you can probably get a retouch up in about 10 years and you may need reading glasses, but it's all an individual process and I have no idea. Would I do it again? Yeah, no problem. Why didn't I choose PRK over LASIK? Um, PRK is one, I heard it was a lot more painful. Two, it takes about a month and a half to actually get your vision stabilized. And three, I couldn't take off of school and work and my personal business and everything like that. So I have too much to risk to actually take that time off. What can LASIK treat? Such as astigmatism, myopia, seeing far or near. I had two astigmatisms, myopia, could not see a thing. I could see about this close in front of my eye. Yes. LASIK can treat astigmatism, myopia, and then whatever the other one is called. I don't know. It can treat astigmatisms. That's one of the main questions that everybody asks is, uh, I can't get LASIK because I have astigmatism. I had them both in my eye. I didn't even know I had both in both eyes. I just thought I had one in one eye. What were you seeing before you had LASIK? They didn't really tell me my prescription. It was like negative 0.7 something. So I don't know, I just knew that this is like all I could see. Let's see if this could work. Like, nah, no, it's, oh my gosh, my head. Uh, yeah, um, my glasses were pretty thick as you can see. I was practically blind. I was going to be blind if I was going to wear contacts. Because I had a problem with the contacts, uh, when I was in high school, I actually ripped the skin off my eye by wearing my contacts and sleeping in them. Warning, please do not sleep in your contacts. They will rip your skin off your eye. Uh, how long were you going without makeup and when were you allowed to put makeup back on? Well, for me personally, I don't like to wear a lot of makeup like Jeffree Star. You see all those women doing contouring and putting false eyelashes on. I don't get that extreme so I don't even wear a lot of makeup. They say you can actually put on makeup in about a week. I took about two weeks because I'm very like hypochondriatic. Um, let's see and the last question I think I had was can you see the cut on your eye? No you can't see anything on your eye. Your eye is completely normal you can't see anything Although I do have a spot on my right eye where the blood vessels all broke and I mean it's really hard to see. You would have to look in the mirror to see it, but it's noticeable if you really look hard. Uh, it still hasn't gone away. In my last video I said it would take about a month. I'm going on two months here. And yeah, you're going to have little spots in your eyes that will take probably like three or four months to heal over. Recovery time. And beyond all, was the procedure painful? No, like I said earlier, I didn't really feel anything except for a bit of pressure and just uncomfortableness. My recovery time, I was fine in like seven hours. I will admit that I had the worst ever eye burning pain I've had in my life. About five minutes after, as soon as I like walked outside and had my sunglasses on, I was stomping my feet on the car dashboard like wanting to get out because it was so bright and literally my eyes were like waterfalls. The burning was bad until I fell asleep about 25 minutes later. Oh, and... Oh. You do get these to sleep with for, I don't know, five days, but I actually wore these. This was my savior item and my comfort item. Um, I wore these to sleep for about a week and a half and when I shower. Do you have any changes in your eye? Um, the biggest change I have is when I shower I cannot get one drop of water in my eye or I can't open my eye. 
it gets so dried out. Like, I have to keep a towel right by the shower to wipe my eyes out. I mean, it's not a big deal, but for some people that like to swim or, like, open their eyes in the shower, I just can't get any water in my eye. It, it, it like, gets really dry. No dry eye. Night vision's fine. Maybe I see a little starburst and white lights only, but it's progressively getting better. Just make sure you go to a real reputable hospital with, you know, prestigious doctors. Don't go to the alleyway back down by Wendy's and get your eyes cut open. You know, it's, it's common sense. Just be smart about it if you're going to actually look into it or get it. If you have any more questions that I did not answer about anything LASIK, procedure, random questions, leave them in the comments below and I will gladly answer them. Also, if you have an Instagram name, please add me. My username is at airy.ann. Please leave a comment on my most recent picture saying that, hey, I found this on YouTube, um, I'm gonna follow you now, blah 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 blah, whatever. I will follow you back because I want to follow all my YouTuber subscribers back. So leave me a comment, leave me a friendly note, and I will gladly follow you back. See you next time!